uh, to my right, uh, the my fellow commissioners. Um, and we have the deputy fire chief here and lieutenant from the Brockton Police Department as consultants on all our matters. Um, and our secretary is to my left. Um, first item on this evening's agenda. Review and accept the minutes of the regular license commission meeting of August 18, 2022. Motion and the special reading of the minutes. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to waive the, the reading of the minutes. All those in favor? Opposed? Aye. So moved. Uh, ap approval of the meeting, of the minutes of the meeting from August 18th and special meeting of August 22nd. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. To approve. Do second. I have a second? Second. Motion is made and properly second to approve the minutes from the meetings of August 18th and August 22nd. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Any nays? Unanimous. Approval of the following police officers as licensed agents for the month of September 2022. Lieutenants Paul Bananka and David Farrell, Sergeants Christopher McDermott and Timothy Stanton, Captain William Hallisey, Detectives Aaron Cummings, Jackie Congdon, Eric Clark, Santiago Serino, Thomas Highland, Michael Bunker, Nazir Paul, and James Cronshaw. Do I have a motion? Motion approved. Second. Aye. Motion is made and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. It's unanimous. Old business. Affirm the granting of the license to Montello Package LLC for an all alcoholic beverage package store license at 1115 North Montello Street, Brockton, Mass. Commissioners, uh, those that were here at, at the uh, special meeting, we voted to grant the license on August 22nd. Uh, at that time, we did require them with a three to zero vote uh, under the condition that the applicant consult the traffic commission. The traffic commission was consulted uh, relative to the North Montello Street uh, address and their re return uh, results were that that they have no, I'm sorry, I want to make sure I say it correctly. It does not have any jurisdiction over that section of the road. The application is returned to us for affirmation of the granting of the license without conditions. Therefore, I'm looking for a motion of granting the license uh, to the Montello Package LLC. Could I have a motion, please? Motion to approve. Second. Motion is made and properly second for the granting of the license, license to Montello Package LLC. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay. Next item, under new business, request for special one-day permits. One, hearing of the request from the APCSM for a special one-day permit to sell all alcoholic beverages for a dog, a Dogtoberfest to be held at 1300 West Elm Street Extension on October 22, 2022, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Are the petitioners present? Yes. Would you please come up? Have a seat. Um, speak into the mics, please. Identify yourselves with your names and your address for the record, please. Uh, Chuck Giovanetti, um, 12 Tamarack Road, West Dennis, Mass. Also live here in Brockton. Um, what else you need? Just your name and your address for the record. Uh, Casey Mahoney, 50 Perry Ave, Whitman, Mass. Would you like to give us an overview of, of what you're looking for, please? Sure. We're looking for a one-day license for our annual Doctoberfest that we do each year. <clears throat> this is a local event, about 150, 125 to 150 guests. There is food available. There will also be sampling of Doctoberfest uh, activities in the sense of uh, local breweries, including our Brockton Beer here uh, company here in Brockton, but there'll be uh, five other local brewers. There'll be food, there'll be entertainment in the sense of somebody playing some music, some announcements, and some fun and games. If you've ever been to a brewery or a um, beer garden, it's a similar type of atmosphere, except it's a fundraiser for the animal shelter. All funds stay local to the Animal Protection Center. Anything? No. Nope. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's everything. All right, I will open the, uh, the hearing portion. Anyone here in favor? Anyone else here in favor? If you come, please rise and, and give us your name and address. 
Hi. Hi there. Letitia Silvera, uh, address 115 Cypress Drive, Brockton, representing Brockton Beer, and I'm in favor of Doctoberfest. Okay. Anyone else here in favor? Anyone else in favor? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing and hearing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners, questions? I have a question. How are you going to uh, eliminate, seeing there's going to be funny games that day, the 21 and under 21. So everybody will be ID coming in. Ticket sales are uh, for the event. It, it's a 21 and over event only. Okay. So there'll be ID check-in. We have uh, two team members who are TIP certified. Yes. And they will be conducting that uh, that uh, validation process. All participants who are over 21 and who have purchased a ticket to be to purchase um, or to sample uh, the beer will have a wristband. All vendors that are serving alcohol will be instructed that they must have a wristband in order to serve somebody. And uh, we do sell uh, a designated driver ticket, which you do not get a wristband for, but you can drink um, water, sodas, et cetera, that are there as well. Great idea. Um, how many um, alcohol vendors are you going to have? There'll be five, uh, six total. Yeah. Okay. Six total brewers in the, from the local area. So they're, they're, they're micro brewers from the area? Yes. Okay. And I can get you a list of those if you nope, need. No, that's a, fine. Brockton Beer they're, is one of them. They're appropriately. You don't have a bartender, correct? No, it would be okay. each. They uh, they are providing their own staff members to man their own. Yep, list. and I have no problem with each one of them because they're all certified. Right, right. that is thank exactly you. how we look Mr. at Chair, it. Chair, thank you. Thank you. Members, any other commissioners? Anything else? Motion to approve. Uh, before I before I get a second, um, deputy. Comments? No, just uh, the only comment I would have would that I would like to make sure that someone there from the organization is a crowd manager, and it's a very simple course you can take online for sure. a oh, yeah. half an hour, and um, it deals with all the safety factors that you should be looking for. I believe we, I know I've been through it before for another organization. I'm a, I'm a CERT member down in on the Cape, but I've been through it for that, and I know somebody already. So you might, your so CERT still might still be good. They're good for three years. So. Okay. Yeah. Lieutenant? Because the uh, event is open to the general public, uh, we recommend uh, one police detail uh, during the hours of operation. I have, there's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Motion has been made and properly second. The motion is for granting with the stipulations required by the police and fire department, correct? Is that my understanding of the motion properly? Okay. Motion has been made and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hearing on the request from Muriel Compare for a special one day permit to sell wine and malt beverage for a birthday party to be held at 21 Torrey Street on September 3rd, 2022, from 6 to 12 a.m. Okay. 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. 12 30. Mm -hmm. September 30th. September 30th. I'm sorry. September 30th. Of course, it would have to be. September 3rd is already gone by. Is Muriel here? Yes. Come on oh, up. Come on up, please. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. And give, give your name and address for the record, My please. name is Muriel Kumpir. I live in Milton, Massachusetts. And what you, Five Decker Street, Milton. And would you expl give us an overview of what you, you want to do on uh, Well, I'm turning 60 this year, and my friends will be coming. I want to <laughs> celebrate my birthday, and I want to serve them a little bit of alcohol, too. So beside uh, water, I need uh, to be free just to be able to serve them some wine and be whatever I can. Mm -hmm. anything, is that, anything else you'd like to add? Is it... uh, for the birthday? Do, for you, anything else you want to tell us about it? or About you the want, birthday? Yeah, about, about what you're going to be doing at, at uh, oh, we're gonna have, 21 Tory Street. We're going to have photo booths. People will be coming to sing, and we're going to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. 
I'll open the hearing. All, all those, anyone else here in favor of the petitioner? Anyone else here in favor? Anyone opposed? Anyone opposed? Seeing none on either, I close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners, questions, please. So are you going to be selling any of the, or is it just, how do you plan on distributing? I wasn't going to sell, I was going to serve them. So, yes, I'm going to have somebody sitting there, you know, whoever wants a little beer, they give, and water, soda. But I heard you, we could not do any beer without with a license, so mm -hmm. I thought. Now, are you hiring someone to provide the alcohol? Or is it a I do have a family member uh, that kind of uh, doing this, can do this. But uh, he probably will be there to do it. But I want the license to make me free to do it in case it doesn't show. I believe they have to get their uh, alcohol from a uh, wholesaler. They can't just go to BJ's and buy a couple of cases of beer and mm -hmm. bring it in. Have, has anyone explained to you the requirements to go into uh, renting that facility up there and, and bringing alcohol in? They say we need uh, either a one-day license or somebody license a bartender should do it. Something like that. Yeah. You, you, yes, you, got, you have to adhere to all the liquor laws. You have to adhere to all the liquor laws and the alcohol has to be bought. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't be bought at like a regular package store or off. At, oh, okay. it's, it has to be bought a, pro, okay. a certain way it has to be bought, bought and they should be telling you that at the facility. Okay. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> and you're and you're any time and I'm sure the uh, lieutenant will or the, or the deputy will say this you're you can have be an inspection at any time during the, the function while it's going on too okay. so yeah. all right any other questions um, De deputy do you have just we'd like to have someone be a crowd manager um, at the event it's an online course that you can take the crowd management will be there is that what it is? yeah crowd management yeah certificate it's an online course that you take and explains the safety okay. rules that you need to follow so follow this and then i yeah. will be able to do it correct oh. mr chair it says here number 10 certified crowd manager must be on duty at all times performing crowd management responsibilities I spoke with uh, Deputy Williams, and he said there was no crowd manager at that 21 Tory Street location. But she could be. She the could crowd get, get become a crowd manager. So. Thank you. Are you done, okay. Lieutenant? I spoke with uh, you over the phone, and uh, the venue apparently had promised uh, for security. I don't know if you remember this, but yeah, you said I that I spoke they, they were actually going to hire uh, or, or arrange that you've paid in advance for two police detail officers. Is that correct? Something like that, yes. Something like that? Yes, because uh, I remember he told me, yeah, uh, we okay. paid for that. Okay, you're not required because it's a private event and you're not selling tickets, correct? No. But they are arranging uh, two police detail officers yes. for your security? Is that is Security, that some type of security, yes. All right, off the... We'll have to check with that to make sure that, because you apparently, according to what you've told me, is you've paid for that in advance, correct? Yes. So you've arranged some they sort of... They said if we are over 75, then we pay. They charge us something like that. If I have 75 or more people. What's the occupancy, uh, Deputy Chief? There, It's just a hair over um, 100. 130. 130, is it? Mm -hmm. I'd have to double check. Okay. Yeah. But you'll... Um, should be important for you to make sure if there, if you've paid for actual police details, yes. that rate, okay. that you get those police details. Okay. We, we can contact them to make sure of that. But if you paid for that in advance, then um, I mean that would satisfy the security, but it's not not required. But if that's what you've paid for, mm -hmm. then you should make sure that that's what is has been arranged. If not, should I contact you again? That's a you should do that. Okay. That's it. That's it. Commissioners? Can I have a motion out of, out of one of my commissioners, please? We can add, you can put, you can no, put stipulations so. on, on it if All you right. need to. 
motion to approve with the fact that someone tip certified is providing the alcohol. Second. It, and if I may add that they on the motion on the motion to show proof it was bought from a wholesaler and not BJ's. I mean, you got 15 days to become up to speed for this event, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though that uh, things are fluid. Motion is do you, uh, the maker of the motion, do you agree with adding on the uh, the alcohol? Verification of the alcohol purchase. Yeah. He's gonna add yes. Yeah. And Chief, you second it. Do you? Do you? Have, can, do you want to agree, or I'll take the. I'll, I'll wipe the motion out. Gentlemen, start a new motion. State it the way you want it to read in the record, please. I'll make a motion. Similar to my brother here. That so I'm going to be tip certified mm -hmm. and that the alcohol be purchased from a wholesaler and some sort of proof. If Lieutenant Banaka sends an agent in there, they have the proof on hand to show that it was bought there and not a receipt from BJ's. A receipt okay. from BJ's would be okay? No, you no, cannot no. buy it from BJ's. No, okay, no BJ's. Yeah. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion. On a motion, a question of the lieutenant, please. Lieutenant. If you know, how many complaints have we had at 21 Tory Street? As far as I know, we have not had complaints about okay. that. Thank you. This motion has been made. Second. Properly second. All those in favor of granting with stipulations? Aye. 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 Opposed? Zero. <laughs> Passes unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure, do you understand what they're asking you to do now? Yeah, yeah, they said I have to get the liquor from the wholesale place, yep. and then we have to have, have a license person tip, to... A tip, license, tip certified bartender. Bartender, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, the uh, crowd control, that pamphlet that was given to you. Okay, yeah. So how long would that take? Half an hour? That, that you can do online. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. So that's why I, I should pay the money to... When after I become the crowd, whatever, comes back to us. Come back. Oh, come back. To we'll you. get you the license. Yeah, oh, get, get the license. I can get you the wholesaler list as well as if, if you want. Thank you. Send yeah. That to you. Yeah. We'll, they'll help. We'll help you out. Know. You'll get a diploma from the uh, crowd manager. Mm -hmm. Just bring that and leave a copy then, of that with. Okay. Um, so I will come back to you again. I'll call you on the phone. Yes, and I, I can I can email you the list as well. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hearing on the requests from St. Teresa Maronite Church for a special one-day permit to sell all alcoholic beverage for a Lebanese food fest will be held at the 343 North Main Street on the following dates, September 30th, October 1st, October 2nd, 2022. Uh, the hours are on the, of the 30th at 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. October 1st is 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. And October 2nd is 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Petitioner is present. Come right up. Sit down, please. And good evening. Good evening. If you'd uh, give us your names and addresses for the record, please. Yes, Michelle Nazarella, Two Mago Lane, East Bridgewater. Uh, Paula Samia, 24 Ann Avenue, Brockton. Want to give us an overview of what, what you have planned for those three days? Absolutely. After a two-year hiatus due to our pandemic, we are back in full force with our three-day Lebanese festival. It's our annual fundraiser. And um, as you stated for the dates and times, we plan on having um, live music, DJs, um, a food booths um, lining the parameter of the driveway selling really good food and pastries, and we hope you are all able to come. Anything else, Dad? No? All set? No. Okay. This is our, I think, our 19th festival. Excellent. And we've got it honed down. Terrific. I'm going to open the uh, public hearing portion. Anyone here in favor? Anyone here in favor of the petitioners? 
treating us well in favor of it. Uh, being a member of the parish, not in good standing due to the kid. Uh, unfortunately, it's the only way churches these days can uh, survive and make money. Uh, they can't depend on people going in and putting in 50 cents anymore. And they've run this activity for the last several years. It's been a, a significant assistance in helping them stay afloat. And we'd ask the board's uh, favorable consideration. Thank you, attorney. Anyone else in favor? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners? I make a motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Any on the motion? Any uh, thing from our police or fire department? Uh, I believe uh, the recommendation uh, to police officers, you expect 500 to 1,000 uh, people to attend. Uh, so there should be one on premises and then one conducting traffic uh, when uh, the traffic issues are uh, uh, need a detail. Yes, yeah. thank you, yes. And uh, crowd manager, as always, mm -hmm. and I know Michelle's been a crowd manager in the past, you may just need to renew it. And just um, something new is Something substantial in the driveway, like a, a barrel with filled with water, just to avoid any cars accidentally coming in and hitting the crowd. Yes. But oh, yeah. yes. We have bad drivers in Brockton, <laughs> so we want to make people safe. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy. The motion has been made and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous in favor. We'll see you in a couple have, of weeks. Have a, Thank you so have much. a great, great celebration. Thank, Thank you. you. Hearing on the request from Brockton Beer Company for a special one-day permit to sell alcoholic beverages for an Oktoberfest event to be held at 121 Main Street on the following dates, September 30th, 2022, from 4 to 9 p.m., October 1st, 2022, from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. If the petitioners would have a seat and identify yourself for the record, please. Letitia Silvera, 115 Cypress Drive, Brockton, uh, representing Brockton Beer Company. Want to give us an overview of your plans, please? Yes. So weather permitting, we're looking to have an Oktoberfest celebration. Um, this will be the first annual, many more to come. Um, we're simply looking to extend our restaurant tap space um, outside to the parking lot that abuts the property that shares the building where Marion's tuxedo is. Um, so similar to the parade, the holiday parade that we've done outside, a few tables, uh, something for kids to enjoy, um, and just a festive atmosphere. So we won't be um, setting up any food outside. People will be able to order the food inside and uh, in carry out portions, be able to take it outside, sit down, enjoy. We will uh, section off the area so that no cars can come into the spaces as well. We also have um, requested to be on the agenda for the parking authority later this month. They're aware of it and the insurance riders have already been prepared for them and that conversation as well. Uh, as well as notifying any of our business neighbors who park in that parking lot as well. Thank you. And hours of the event, um, on normal business operations for weekdays on Fridays, we're open from 4 to 10, but this outside portion would run from 4 o'clock to sunset, so probably about 6.30 or so. Uh, in a couple weeks, it'll start getting darker and darker, earlier and earlier. And on Saturday, we open at noon, so we will probably conclude around 6, 6.30 as well weather permitting for all of it. <laughs> Thank you. I will open the public hearing portion of the uh, meeting. Anyone here in favor of the petitioner? Anyone here in favor of the petitioner? If you, if you name, and name and address, please. Uh, fine organization. They've supported the Animal Protection Center, as I spoke about before. Nice to have new folks like this in town doing business and as somebody who's lived in the city for 30 I've been a homeowner in the city for 37 odd years. It's nice to see activity like this at nighttime now. Mm -hmm. It's being put together, so that's our support. Thank you. Anyone else here in favor? Anyone else here in favor? Anyone uh, seeing that? I'll close that portion of the hearing. Anyone here opposed? 
Anyone opposed? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners, questions? I have no questions. I might. We think, uh, does that fulfill what you'd want as far as retail offices, time and everything? If it's uh, open to the general public, then uh, we would require a detail officer and just uh, to ensure also that, uh, or, or you be sure that alcohol is, uh, for distribution is under the control of staff at all times. And just that a detail officer, since it is open to the general public. Thank you. Uh, the all alcoholic permit, will we be selling the all alcoholic other than the brew beer inside? So uh, or will the all alcoholic be outside? We have uh, ready to drink cocktails that are already part of our menu. So they come in a can, you crack them open, um, and they would be included. So you just want to bring, just want to bring them outside. Yeah. Okay. Deputy, um, I would ask for a crowd manager, and um, they, they're going to need one if the other request passes tonight, anyways. Um, and that you do something to the parking lot to avoid cars coming in, just to protect the public. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Hearing on the request from Connell Spellman High School for a special one-day permit to sell beer and wine for an alumni event to be held at two, uh, excuse me, at 738 Court Street on October 1st, 2022 from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Is the petitioner present? Mm -hmm. Please come up and identify yourself for the record, please. Jane Westland, 152 Cashman Road, Brock. Excellent. Jane, would you like to give us an overview, please? Yes. We're going to have an event on October 1st from 5 to 8 o'clock on the practice field. And it's a private party by invite only. We're asking for a beer and wine one day special permit. We're going to have two TIP certified bartenders. Uh, there should be 150 to 175, possibly 200. And uh, anything else you need to know? I'll open the, the public hearing portion of, of the, uh, the hearing. Uh, anyone here else in favor of the petitioner? Anyone else here in favor? If you would, please come up and identify yourself for the record. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, Letitia Silvera, 115 Cypress Drive. Class of 95. Uh, class of 95, an alumni of Bowman, um, also in support of events happening for alumni in the city. And um, it'll be an awesome event as it is and as it always was. Thank you. Anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anyone in opposition? Anyone opposed? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners. Okay. Any questions? Motion to approve. On, on the motion, deputy. I would just ask that someone from Spelman become a crowd manager and, and uh, that should be it. Okay. It should be a good event. Lieutenant? Uh, it's a private event uh, by invitation, no detail officers required, and the other concerns were already addressed by the applicant. The police department satisfied. Thank you. The motion has been made and properly seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. We're all set. Yes, ma'am. Bright and early. All right. Hearing on the request from Brockton Beer Company for an entertainment license located at 121 Main Street, Brockton, Mass. Letitia Silvera, 115 Cypress Drive, representing Brockton Beer Company. All right, this is uh, a request to formality for an entertainment license so that we can uh, carry on musical bingo, trivia, um, any type of uh, small scale entertainment options um, that we can host inside the tap room 
and um, just continue to provide fun things to do for residents and people visiting the city coming downtown. Okay. I'll open the public hearing, and if you would like to something else you'd like to add before we start. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone here in favor of the petitioner? Anyone in favor? Yeah. Once again, Chuck Givenetti, 12 Tamara and Road West Tennis Mass. Again, for many of the reasons I stated in uh, article uh, previous to this number four, it's an organization that's well run, nice location over there. I'm sure many of you have been by it. And it's a great shot in the arm for downtown. And based upon how they've worked with us from the Animal Protection Center and then as a customer there, it would be a fun place to be and well run. Nice Thanks. Thank you. Anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anyone in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners, questions, comments? Anyone before? No? Okay. Uh, I have to ask, I see you're asking for dancing by performers. I checked all the boxes. You checked all the boxes. <laughs> um, we don't foresee any dancing by performers, orchestras. Can that, well, can the dancing by performers be removed? Thank you. Okay. Oh, and a 20 vocalist and an eight piece band. So I think it would fill the whole, uh, whole downstairs. <laughs> it would, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Unless we count sing alongs, but. Well, there you go. Deputy? Um, as part of the fire code, uh, they have an occupancy of over 100 people, so we'll be speaking with them and imposing the crowd manager on them on a permanent basis. So we've got that covered. Great. Thank you, Chief Deputy. Lieutenant. And with that, the police department does not have any objections. Okay. Uh, commissioners, I'd entertain, an, entertain a motion, and since I can't make it, I would li I'd like it made with the dancing by performers removed from the... Motion approved with dancing by performers removed from the application. Thank you. Second. Motion has been made and properly second with dancing by performers removed. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Thanks for spending your evening with us. <laughs> okay. Number seven, hearing on the request from Atlantic Medical Partners Incorporated for the renewal of a re retail marijuana license located at 4 Main Street, Brockton, Mass. Petitioners, have a seat. At, state your name and address for the record, please. Good evening. Stephen Parkins, 49 Timber Creek Road, Bill Ricca, Massachusetts. Would you like to go over? Uh... Sure, we are. Uh... Eagerly awaiting, finally opening at the Four Main Street location. Construction is complete. Uh, we are waiting for what they call the ready to open inspection by the Cannabis Control Commission. Uh, they basically, an agent will come down and do a mock transaction to make sure that our point of sale is ready and uh, able to print receipts, exchange currency for product, etc. And uh, we're excited to finally open in the city. I will open the public hearing portion. Anyone here in, uh, in favor of the licensee? Anyone here in favor of the licensee? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anywhere in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing none, I cl close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners, questions, comments? They just need their um, final inspection. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll have to get the. Ins this is a little different from the alcohol, so I'll check. Eddie, has, have you guys gone through as yeah, the we, all set? We inspected the completion of construction. Okay. Okay. All right. Council's going to entertain a motion then. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I conducted an inspection uh, a little less than two months ago, and uh, the security concerns that we have, everything appears to be in order, uh, notwithstanding the final inspection by the Cannabis Control Commission, but the police department has no objection. 
Thank you. Commissioners, do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made and probably second to approve. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. It's unanimous. Thank you. Good Thank luck. You Thank you. Item number eight. Hearing on a request from the Cajun Kitchen LLC doing business as the Cajun Kitchen makes application for a wine and malt beverage restaurant license at 708 Belmont Street, Brockton, Mass. Commissioners, we were notified by today by the petitioner that they are not ready to come before us and they would ask that they be held over and put on next month's regularly scheduled meeting. Could I have a motion to that effect, please? Motion to approve, to hold it till the next meeting. Second. So a motion has been made and seconded to hold, uh, to hold over to the next regularly scheduled meeting of the License Commission. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous in favor. Number nine, hearing on a request from CV Auto Care Inc. for the transfer of Class II used car deal license at 803 Crescent Street, Brockton, Mass. Commissioners, this one too, we were notified today that they needed to be uh, another month to be prepared to come before us, and they asked that they be put on the next month's agenda. Could I have a motion postponing this till the next regularly scheduled meeting of the License Commission? Motion to postpone to the next scheduled meeting. Second. Motion has been made and properly second to postpone to the next regularly scheduled meeting of the License Commission. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. Hearing on the request from Brockton Firefighters Union Local 144 to serve alcohol in the parking lot of 80 Perkins Avenue, Brockton, Mass. for a charity event to be held on September 24th, 2022 during their normal business hours. <sighs> Give your name and address for the for the record, please. Uh, Bill Bassett, 17 Belmont Court, Brockton. Mr. Bassett, would you give us an overview, please? Sure. Um, this is a cookout style event on the property of uh, 80 Perkins Ave. Uh, it's an event st a style of event that we've run many times in the past. Um, the event is a ticketed event. Uh, people aren't walking in off the street. Uh, Obviously, what we're looking to do is serve alcohol in the parking lot area alongside the, uh, the bar that we already run inside. Um, the event is going to be within our normal business hours. It's planned to wrap up. There's, there'll be live entertainment. Um, so the hours will be probably from about 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're going to cut the event at 5. There's no chance we're getting everybody out of there by 5, but the music will stop at 5 um, and then clean up and break down. Um, we have, I have a site plan if anybody wants to take a look at it. It's, I just drew it up, kind of, if anybody would like to see this. Just pass it around. Okay, sure. Okay. It's, uh, oh, sorry. Thanks. Take a look at that, Lieutenant. I know the area um, for you. So, what we're doing is we're going to rope off the, uh, entire Perkins Avenue side. Um, the access road behind the, the uh, Union Hall is blocked off as it is. There's no access on that side. Uh, we're going to uh, block off with barrels and fire line tape. Um, the access between the Enterprise Club and our parking lot, there'll be no vehicle access to this event at all. There'll be all two walkthrough entrances. Um, we'll have some tents set up for merchandise and ticketing. Um, everybody that enters this event will be carded and stamped. Um, they'll be wearing a wristband. we are wearing a wristband and a stamp so we know that they're part of this event. Um, there was one thing that I forgot to include and there was a potential for a rain date which is the following day, 925. So I don't know if we can include that in this just in case we do get rained out. Is that, is that doable? Mm -hmm. Is that doable? Yeah, we can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can put it on the license. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we're, this event is um, a charity event that is going to be, uh, like I said, a cook, cookout style event with hamburgers, hot dogs, and draft beer. That's pretty much it. Okay. Open the public hearing. Anyone here else in favor? Anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Commissioners, questions? 
I ask you, what's the charity bill? It's um, Matt Flaherty, who was a firefighter that, that killed this year, um, back in March. They're doing a memorial uh, motorcycle ride, and the ride will end at Perkins Avenue. Um, just a, it's a fundraiser for Believe.org is the organization. So we're going to host it for them. Excellent. Will you be playing them off out? They're in my truck. I will uh, consider right. that. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, Motion will approve. Uh, Lieutenant, um, I'm sorry, uh, Deputy. We've done this in the past as firefighters. We, we've got it down pat. Um, I'll unfortunately be there and we'll make sure everything runs smoothly on my end. So <laughs> down pat. <laughs> Lieutenant. It's not open to the general public. Therefore, we don't require a police detail. I've spoken to the applicant. and He's addressed many of the concerns about the area being blocked off from motor vehicle traffic, et cetera. So there's no objection by the police department. Thank you. I have a motion. Do I have a second? second. Motion has been made and properly second to approve. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Mr. Chairman, would that include the rain date? Um, I'm sorry, could I have a, uh, so we approved the 24th. Could I have a motion to okay a rain date of the 25th? Motion to approve. Second. 25th as a rain date. Motion has been made and properly second to add September 25th as a rain date. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A hearing on the request of DDO New England LLC DBA Taco Bell number 40863 for a transfer of common victual license and a late night business permit at 675 Belmont Street, Brockton. Time having arrived. Is the petitioner present? Huh? Push it over to the next meeting. Uh, as, as this is the next to last item, I don't feel we need to hold it to the end. So I would uh, entertain a motion to put this on Take next month. We hold this to the end. Do I have a second? <coughs> uh, Chief, take, take it back your motion. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. Yeah. Take it back. Hey, okay, thank you. Take a motion to postpone till next meeting. Do it in a second. second. Motion is made, probably second to postpone the hearing. On until, the motion? Uh, Did they notify us that they may not be here or something? No. Okay. To the next regularly scheduled meeting of the License Commission. All those in favor? Aye. It's, it's, it's unanimous. They go over to the next meeting. Hearing on the request from La Loft Venue of Yolanda Medina for her special one day permit to sell wine and malt beverages at 1340 Belmont Street, Brockton, Mass. on the following dates. Hello, my name is Yolanda Medina, 80 Thier Circle in Randolph. I am here to pull permits for my venue that just opened on 1340 Belmont Street. So I have a certified to serve liquor. She's also bringing the liquor for the client as well. Max capacity is 49. Uh, commissioners, the dates are September 25th from 7 to 11, October 9th from 7 to 11, October 15th from 7 to 11, October 22nd from 7 to 11. Um, is, is that? Um, yes. Is that, what you, is that all you want to, to yes. say? Yes. Okay. I'll open the public hearing. Anyone here in favor of the petitioner? Anyone here in favor? Yeah. Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Commissioners, questions? Is this an indoor event just because we've been? Yes, it's a new venue that just opened. Mr. Chairman, if I could. Uh, this venue, La Loft, is similar to the gorgeous event venue at 21 Tory Street. Uh, she has an occupancy of 49 people. Yes. That you can't go over. That includes employees and, and workers. Um, I've kind of been working with her from day one when we found out about it. Um, and uh, I think that the place is safe and that as long as she maintains by the rules, she, 
the, the event will be fine. No questions. Nick? I do before a motion is made. No reports. I just. How you're doing it is a little different than how the other facility in the city is doing it um, because everything's coming through you. And I just, um, my concerns long term are, are that um, maybe you should, I feel that if you're going to be always going through you, then maybe you should be trying to get a form of a license so that you can have your functions as they come in and not having to come here before every hearing. Yes, every we're working on that. Hearing. Um, you know, and again, it's, you know, it's TIP certified. I know you said you had somebody coming in, but they have to be TIP certified and the whole thing about where the alcohol is coming from. Yes. Um, and what I read was beer and wine. And that's your understanding too, is beer and wine? No, it was, um, it was liquor. I must have... Well, what, what oh, no, I, it's beer and wine. It's beer and wine. You can't have all alcoholic. Okay. Only nonprofits can do that. Okay, okay. I'll let so my that's clients why, know. That's why I wanted to clarify okay. it, okay? Um, hopefully you haven't bought any, any alcohol other than mm -hmm. beer and wine at this point. But um, it really should be something because, as you saw, we that was that's how they do it is the petitioner has to come before us. The person who is actually renting the space is getting the license, is getting the one-day permit. Okay. As opposed to how you're doing and you're getting the permits for your your customers from the looks of it. Yes. Um, so um, just just because I think in the long run it may be better beneficial to you to if that's how you're going to run your business. Okay. If, you know, just so you're not here every month. Well, isn't there a certain number of... I would think there would be a set number. I, There's I, 30 per year. 30 per year. I didn't... I was looking, trying to find that online today and I... Yeah. So it's 30 that's per year. It. Mr. So, Chairman, if I may, um, Deputy, she's, she's kind of put herself in a, between a rock and a hard place because she has these four events tonight. There's another four events. She'll probably be back in October. If she applies for a liquor license, you can't, once she applies, you can't issue the one-day liquor Correct. license. So, so she's got to find a gap of time where she's not going to have any events with liquor, and then she can apply and work through that. So Yeah, it's like um, a couple months process. Okay. Yeah. So try and figure out because you will, if you're doing four this month and four next month, you're going to burn out the 30 very quickly. Okay. So, and Mr. Chair, I mean, in all seriousness, you're on the hook for anything that happens there. Yes. Okay. I know that. Okay. All right, Lieutenant. And I take it these four events are similar. Uh, no admission is going to be charged at these events. No. So it's not open to the general public. No. So no police detail is going to be required, and of course, uh, I'm not sure if you already mentioned about a TIP certified bartender, and the alcohol must be uh, uh, must be under the control of staff and away from patrons, and the alcohol has to be purchased from a wholesaler. Yes. You, want to, you realize that? Yes. Okay. The police department doesn't have an objection then. Thank you, Lieutenant. Commissioners, motions. Mr. Chair, can I make a motion? We take. The four of these together, they're all the exact same time, the exact same uh, venue, the exact same manager, just different diverse dates. It's it's here under, uh, I, I think it's it's all under one. It's all under one. Okay. So all of them are going to be together? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. i make a motion to approve. Well, second. Motion is made and approved and properly seconded. Um, we want to help you. All, all, this, all these comments were so you get off on the right foot. And, okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Okay. Thank okay, you. Good luck. Thank you. <sighs> Hearing on the request from Brockton Arts, Inc. for a special one-day permit to sell wine and malt beverages at Gallery 3333 Dover Street, Brockton, Mass., on October 15th from 7 to 1 a.m. Is the petitioner present? The petitioner is present. My name is Arnold Danielson, and I live at 603 Summer Street in Brockton. Would you like to give us an overview of what's happening that day, Mr. Well, Donaldson? We are going to have a small fashion show 
85 guests, 15 members of staff, including models and designers. There will be entertainment will be limited to a DJ. There will be light appetizers served. And we wish to serve a little bit of Prosecco, a little bit of Pinot Grigio, and a little bit of sweet blush wine, all as a convenience to our clients and our clients' guests. And we're not selling it, we're giving it away. Open the public hearing. Anyone here in favor? Anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I close that portion of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing no one, I clear that portion of the hearing closed. Commissioners? Questions? Deputy? Anything? Um, I just, we would, would require a crowd manager. I believe Annie is a crowd manager. If not, have one. just renew so it. Um, in the building. They've had events at this building um, for quite a few years now without any problems. So. Thank you, Deputy. Lieutenant? I spoke with the applicant today. It's not open to the general public, and it's uh, no police detail is required. And uh, I believe uh, this event has gone on uh, before. So you, there's an understanding as to what uh, transpires with uh, what's needed. So the police department has no objection at this time. Thank you, Lieutenant. Commissioners, any, uh, anything else? Or uh, to entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Mo Second. Motion's been made and properly second to approve. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none? Thank you for your Unanimous. <clears throat> right. So I see a lady, but we, can you come up? Can we, you come up? We and... put you on for the next month. Oh, because we Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, we put you in for the next one. What was the date again? It was at the end of? November 25th. October 25th? November. November. November yes, yeah, so we put you for October. Okay. Um, and they don't have the, so it's the 20th, October 20th. 6 p.m. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Commissioners, do I have a motion for anything? Do I have a second? second. Motion has been made and properly second for adjournment. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion. We are adjourned.